star menu, whichever one you prefer. We want to open up File Explorer though, nonetheless. And now we want to go on the left side to this PC, and you want to left click on it once. Now we want to go underneath our local disk, or whichever location our folder is having issues saving into. So we're going to just go underneath our local disk here. And now most people would be underneath the users folder, so you want to double click on that again. And now you should have different account names. Your name will not be the same as mine. I have a John Smith folder here. So whatever username you're having this issue with, you're going to right click on it. And then you want to left click on properties at the bottom of this context menu. And now you want to left click on the security tab at the top. So you want to left click on the advanced button right here. So right across from where it says owner, it might say system for you guys. You want to click on this change button with the hyperlink right underneath. So you want to click on it one time. So in this spot down here, I want to put in the actual username. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the advanced button right here, right down here. And now I'm going to select find now on the right side here. So if you pull this little tab over here, you can expand and see all the valid users on this computer. Now, like I said, you want to go find your account. So we know John Smith is our actual account here. So I'm just going to left click on it once here, just to select the account name. And then I'm going to click on OK. So now that we have our account or login credential name here, we're going to click on OK. You can see underneath owner now, it's been changed to our account name or user name. And now, in order to change the owner for all the subfolders, we want to click on this box next to replace owner on subcontainers and objects. So left click in this box one time. So now you want to click on apply down here. You might get this window security alert. Um, just letting you know you do not have permission to read the contents. Do you want to replace the directory permissions with permissions granting you full control? Click on yes, and this will take a moment, so just be patient. Then you want to click on OK, and now you want to click on OK again to get out of that window. And we're going to have to close out of this dialog window as well, so you want to click on OK again. OK, so now that we are back on this File Explorer view, we want to go back into our username, right click on it, and then bottom of the context menu again, left click on properties. Go up to the security tab and left click on it one time and then proceed to click on this advanced button right here down here. So you want to make sure underneath access full control has been granted for all of them. If it has not been you can just click on any one of these right here. And then once you clicked on any of these items there will be a button that says edit that will appear. You want to left click on the edit button once and you want to make sure full control is enabled. And if you select, select a principal up there, like we did before, if you went underneath advanced, you could find out and find the account. That's if you do not have full control already established at this point. So at this point, we want to add right down here. So click on the add button one time. Select principal by clicking on this button that we went through just a moment ago. So now you want to click on the advanced button right down here. Click on the find now button right here. I'm going to expand this view. And this time we're going to look for something that says everyone right here. We want to make sure it says everyone. And then click on OK. And then you want to click on the OK button right here. You want to make sure all these boxes are checked now, so full control. And then you want to click on OK. So now you want to check mark this box. This says replace all child object permission entries with inheritable permission entries from this object. Click mark, check mark in that box. Click on apply. Again, you might get a Windows security pop-up. Click on yes. And then it will take a moment, so just be patient here. And the window should close out automatically. I would recommend closing out of all your windows, restarting your computer, and hopefully this folder and file access permission error you were having earlier has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.